um, early game hero. I think this is like the hero they're picking into the Beastmaster Enchantress. They see, you know, a tough lane that wants to push and Crystal Maiden. This hero is pretty weak after Ten the laying stage, but remaining. it's you're pretty much only picking this hero because it's a good laner. Like Crystal yes. Nova fight early on. Remaining. It's good at dealing with maybe with an Enchantress creep if you frostbite it. You can Nova kill the boars. So good in the lane. Not the greatest in the game, but that's that's okay. They're not picking it for to be this hero that carries them later on. Uh, that that's a point. Uh, that, that was a good point that you raised it about, and and I also about to say that hey, uh, I mean, if in case it was actually a like, and don't you think that Crystal Medic would be a food right after the ten minutes? <laughs> I mean, it it would be Absolutely, very hard yeah. for for her. To, uh, consider her movement speeds and stuff might be good in in the lane, but um. Yeah, the positioning need to be very perfect to just survive. Team bat. bat rider. Bat rider. Wow. So, uh, that's a really good bat rider pick. There's three melee heroes that may all be core. We don't know if Monkey's three positional four, but either way, bat rider can go mid against the Ember. Can cause PA problems. You've got a way to disable Ten the PA during remain. BKB, and you see four heroes, so you know they they could like you know Five last pick some kind of remain. Legion commander or a Baden, but you know it seems unlikely or like a hero that wouldn't fit into their draft. So Batrider has a pretty free game right now. Yeah, this lineup of interactive is Philippine is actually remind me uh, some Dota ah, One games like. Bad. 11 years ago, it was Stars Boba in some land Giant tournament. You, you remember Stars Boba from yeah, yeah. Vietnam? Yeah, yeah they, they have the Bat yeah. Rider, Beastmaster, Enchantress, Shadow Charman, mm -hmm. and they profit. And they push the, the base in the land tournament. And that game ends only 8 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, I just remember Stars, they had all the like cheese strats. Like they would yeah. do all like, the nature's prophet all in like push strats True. and stuff um they had that um what was it the sassoon was the guy i think on their team he was like the the carry player who would just play all these weird cheese heroes <laughs> yeah uh, through that all right i can't hardly wait for the last pick from team iap i think it's going to be something surprise it probably might be the first um i mean position one nature prophet Ten like you mentioned remaining mm. oh yeah what do they want i Five hmm. seconds remaining. Maybe another hero to put Inkswell on, or... I'm curious what the lanes are going to be. Grimstroke and Enchantress, both of them can play either safe lane or off lane support. So it probably just depends what they feel is better. They may want to have the Enchantress dodge the Crystal Maiden lane. I think Light can, um, like you said, is it, a bad choice. Yeah, maybe they're worried, because Lycan is more of the off lane hero now. I think, other than Lil Gun, it's only being played... Um, in the offline, so maybe they just don't feel like, like if you go Lycan, you have no late game, which is for some teams kind of scary. So I think they'd rather pick a hero that can give them, you know, some pushing, but also give them late game. Bro, but, you, you know, can't this far already. Look at the first four heroes. <laughs> you, that's no yeah, yeah, late yeah. game. Definitely. After 30 minutes, you know, you you are you're done for. You, you just have that's to go all the way. That's why you picked the late game though. That's, no, that's why you, <laughs> then you have the I don't, so you I, dis I disagree with you. I would go for like 100% yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. crazy stuff Almost. on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm curious to see which way they go. Yeah. They're playing in the PA, so. so see which carries they have in mind against PA. I mean, they could like gyrocopter or something. That's true. That's kind of like all game, like good in lane, Saving. good in mid game, and also, also good in late game. Yes. Oh man, that's not Ooh. really good. Mars comes out. So yeah, they really, I was surprised to see him. I mean, they pick Batride and just ban out the counters, Abaddon and Legion. These were the two heroes I mentioned they don't see on the other team. And they say, well, they could pick them somehow. Like Abaddon support, Ten Legion could remaining. off lane with Monkey support. So making sure there's nothing Five to purge off Lasso remaining. and Army Genius just pick up Mars. So I'm not sure what they pick into Mars. PA is often a carry you want to play into to Mars. So we'll see what else. I, Ah, uh, yeah, I'm wondering where they want to go. And the Whether last it's one. traditional carry or... Yeah. Often Oof. with the Grimstroke, you want, like, the melee carry because you can put the Ink Swall on them when they go, you know, charging in, jumping Wraith in. Wraith King, you think? Wraith King? Oh, It would be up. good, but it's banned. Yeah, yeah. I, I like Wraith King. Um, Medusa. Medusa. Ooh. Mm. Well, they get, they get the... La you, you're probably Just not happy like, with this one, Black right. Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They had all the push, and then they're like, oh, we'll get all the push here, and then a Medusa. 
Yeah, but Marv, for, for the middle side, it's actually not bad with the pushing lineup. She can push very fast as well. I mean, grouping up with, with the team since like 15 minutes in and, and being the backbone, being the center uh, by using the mana shield. Uh, all right. I've seen a lot of Medusa against Mars. Just seems to be the carry that range carry that doesn't mind as much about the bulwark and also in lane with the Mystic Snake. You can make Mars's life a little bit difficult. Um, and then you just, you know, fall back, farm your ancient stacks, farm your jungle, play kind of, you know, do Medusa things while the rest of your team run around and make plays happen. Yeah. The uh, triangle is very important for IAP in this game. The warding game needs to be on point to, to protect yeah. all the stacks. And one of the nice things about Medusa is uh, it's kind of like has that similar thing to the Tide where you can defend towers very well. Um, so if the other four heroes are, you know, trying to make some smoke plays happen, go for some kills, take towers of their own, Medusa can often defend towers by herself uh, as long as there's like some potential TP protection. She doesn't insta die to ganks. Same with like, you know, the Tide Hunter. So you just like, you know, if you need to defend your mid tower, you send the Medusa there. And in between farming, she can help out the team a bit. Well, game three decider. This should be good. Both teams must win game. You should have, you known, should have better. known better. For sure, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we Prepare are in battle. the last game of the series. IAP versus Army Genesis. They are now tied 1-1. One, one. In the last game, IAP on the Radiant side. Kimo oh, on please. Enchantress. Matthew on the Grimstroke. Escort on the Beastmaster. Yona on Batrider. And Marv on Medusa. Yeah. Gonna leave AG side to you. <laughs> AG starting off with some good old chat. We're gonna have Varus playing the Crystal Maiden, DB on Phantom Assassin, Womi on Mars, Azura on Ember, and Lim playing the Monkey King. These teams with some fun, some fun old chat to start things off. Mm. <laughs> Matthew, I think all chat is getting more acceptance these days in the game. It's maybe since like TI10. Players tend to be more relaxed when they it comes to, to, to all chat. It's not like something forbidden like four or five years ago. Oh, you all chat? Banned straight away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like no flaming at all. Then you these yeah. days you have Valve added all the the voice lines and taunts <laughs> and OG then came in to do it and they're like, Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah. BM everyone. Yeah. Tips um, me, bro, tips me. Yeah. <laughs> Then you have the question mark from, from Emo. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, all right. OK. Uh -huh. This is going to be tense. Yep. So Mars will be four position, it looks like. Lim playing the Mars. Uh, sorry, not Mars. Uh, Monkey King. Mars will be three position, of course. Won't be. Um, no surprises from either team with the lanes and the heroes, I don't think. I guess there was some question whether for Enchantress and Grimstroke, which lane they go to. And Kimo early on having to fight it out with the, the Monkey King, but he goes for the first point in heal, knowing that Monkey King does not have Jingu, so he can kind of win this harass battle. Yeah, turn on the nature as a tendent. That is actually the first time we've seen Monkey King fighting with the Enchantress and both our supports. We're going to see a lot of clash between the two supports at the bottom lane, definitely. And like you say, uh, I think this is going to be a hard lane for Womi, unlike last game, because if you take a look at the standing position of Medusa, he is standing in front of the killed. Yep. Just trying to keep these heroes at bay. When you've got Enchantress <laughs> Medusa, this is a very strong lane. Kimo trying to de ward his camp here. Looks like he'll be successful. One thing IAP need to keep in mind is uh, Escort must not make the same mistake as the previous game that he keep dying in front of PA. I think, yeah, yeah he, he need to find a sweet spot in uh, between farming and also surviving. <laughs> yeah, he get farm a lot, uh, get a lot of CS, but he dies, so he give away the uh, experience to PA, which is not bad, not, not good. <laughs> So far, lane's looking a bit better for army geniuses. Their CS is uh, having a fantastic start. Particularly this mid lane, Ember with six denies and six last hits. The Batrider struggling to get those early last hits. Yona 
has also used up his entire mana pool. So it's like, you know, he's trying to get them using these napalms to harass him, yep. you know, boost up his damage on creeps with just being outplayed by Azura. Hmm. All right. I am, I am always splitting my eyes and trying to observe who is going to get the first button around here. You're gonna need a lot of game sense as a caster to just, you know, never miss a first blood in, in your life. <laughs> and, um... You need to uh, see all three lanes at once somehow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, being a commentator is actually making me good at Dota as well. I have a lot of um, uh, minimap awareness. Uh, oh, I, good. I, I, I was actually the one who checked the minimap the Radiant's most in my team. Tower is under I always <laughs> like, yeah, all good, man. Not thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on top lane. Yes, that's Ooh, gonna be the first so blood. I got that one right on the spot. Nice. Yeah, DB slashing you're, him you're, out. Your third eye catching the first blood. I told you. Gonna be like. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say you had to be like uh, LeBron James. He got poked in the eye and he was like, "I'm seeing three rims, you know." <laughs> so I just, you know, I just aimed at the one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy, three rims. And hey, yeah. that's 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 disaster. Uh, I was yeah. talking about repeating the same mistake, and, and they, they're doing it again, and then they lost two in front of the Phantom Assassin. No doubt it's oh. going to be hard for Mark. It doesn't matter how how much mana shield you have, you're playing against a Phantom Assassin who can crit you off the world. Yep, we saw DB on PA last game. It'll be two games in a row for him on this hero, and after last game, you've got to be very afraid of it. And the most impressive thing with his no. PA game is the way he plays with his support and just seems to keep winning his lane. CM is a very good there laning go. hero, but they can't feel good about how this lane has started. Oh, my dear. I mean, when it's comes to late game, oh, okay, another big fight happening. i kind of surprised that the fight uh, breaks out quite early in the middle area. TP's out. Uh, Wanted to maybe stop the Batrider refilling the bottle. Because this Batrider is having a really bad time mid and needs these runes. Also, one of the really bad things for Escort, when he died up top, he didn't have TP. Oh, and Batrider going to lose another rune. Oh, no. This is so bad for yeah. Yona. Both mid and top are going so badly for IAP. Escort dying without a TP. He had to smoke back to lane. He bought a smoke to get there faster oh, just for God. the movement speed. <laughs> what a high soul way to go back to the lane. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. And now Yona being forced to go back. He's he running out of mana. No more uh, sticky name from spam. And it seems like AT is looking good in every lane. At the bottom lane, it's just killing the career on the way back. Yep. Yeah, Lim using this observer ward. It does get dewarded in the end by Kimo, but he managed to snipe at least two careers with it, so easily pays for itself. Do you know that the uh, the previous game of Team IAP against Team Summit, um, yeah, the team name Summit, uh, the team that is out of the league, in both games that they lost to Summit, <laughs> they lost every lane. Completely lost every lane. Yeah. Yeah, mid That's top bottom. Mm. So I I think we can say that the laning phase is, is their weakness, but um, uh, on top, Okay, yep. stroke dropping quite Matthews. low though, but however, I think Escort's gonna get some kill on the support. Good one. They strike it back, but however, DB just gets something out of that round. He's slashing support yep. and Matthew. Yeah, DB doesn't mind as long as he... He gets a solo kill in terms of the experience and gold. Lim up top, trying to just lead some of this experience, but gets taken off of this tree and has to be a little bit careful. Many I think the uh, the fact that DB being uh, at side to play the same hero like previous game, it's actually giving him in the zone. He, he, his, his muscle memory are are just in the zone for the PA. Yeah, three point seven k net worth, <laughs> more than a thousand gold ahead of Medusa, who's second on net worth. So it's not like Medusa's doing badly. It's just his PA getting three kills or being involved in three kills including a first blood it's just so much gold all right still got a chance man even though it's not a good start for team iap this is have to um uh, pick themselves up and try to do better in the lane especially on top maybe stop dying and man it's just so hard to do 
like you yeah, said, already... the, uh, the Crystal Maiden is very good in early game. Yeah, I've used it really well to help win top lane, rotated mid to deal with the Enchantress creep. It's a, a very good pick for this game, but be careful. All right. Also, Monkey King causing troubles for Kimo at the bottom lane as well. And meanwhile, Arena, though, first time using so. Arena of Blood, Marp stuck in there. And this is the first time Azura uh, teleported from the mid lane and trying to gang on the right hand side of the map. And he's just gonna Made die. Yes. We have Mars. Yep. I needed the second spear. Medusa had a big one to heal up, but it still wasn't enough. So great kill. As Monkey King even survives and gets out. That's so good for Army attack. Azor. Level 7. I think the one who can make a comeback for the team in this game for IAP is a bad rider. Yeah. We I just mean, have to do. He, he's not having a good early game. Not a good farm. Not a good level as well. But um, it's on the way to the boost of travel. Radiance bottom tower. Yeah, his game's picked up a bit now that he's got some levels. He's been able to farm some jungle camps as well, and uh, you know this can potentially continue. Boots of travel. It's going to give him this global mobility, and I think that's going to pair really nicely with Beastmaster, who, despite having a bad start, Beastmaster is about to get the helm of the Dominator. So. They can push and pressure this top lane. This is similar to the last game where PA does well at the early levels in the lane, but then because you're going for this Battle Fury, at some point your lane gets quite hard. And that's kind of the point we're approaching now. But I think in this game, he's going to get hit quite early for the Battle Fury. He has two kills and a decent farm. He was um, a big difference between the highest net worth hero of Team IAP, which is like 1.5k net worth difference. <laughs> and um, I think at this rate of the farm, I think he's gonna get Foul Fury around 16 minutes in. Or even faster. Yeah, it, it feels like it. First Blood Gold is just a nice, health, healthy boost, and we'll see if they can find a way to pressure DB up here. Batrider is headed back to base to pick up those boots of travel, so potential boots of travel from Batrider to come in and help out. All right. Uh, yes, they realize that DB would be a hard target, so they decide to go for the support first. But however, Asura teleported, not teleported, just moving from the mid lane to help on top, and that's gonna be a trade. Definitely, Eslaw not gonna make it. He might have to trade his life with the support, which is not worth it. Yep. Again, dying without his TP. He tried to TP out, but Ember, he ran, he moved his hero up to make sure there were only two targets for steering chains. It was so nicely done. That's why he gets tipped. And he's going to get another kill in the river. Azura is owning this game. He wins his mid lane. He makes some nice rotations down bottom, now up top. His Ember Spirit has been perfect. But this is getting harder and harder for the IAP. I mean, losing every lane, Medusa is not doing well optimal level of Medusa because she died one time and now being forced away of the lane um, yep. and also I, I think that the big point is Bat Rider is is not ready to operate yet. Radiant yeah I, ideally I mean Beastmaster is going to instantly run back top but his game has been slowed down he's only level six has the helm of the dominator but hasn't even had a chance to grab Tonight. a creep yet so Will be 11 minutes before Beastmaster grabs that. Oh, sorry, he's no, he's got the creep, he's got the Dark Troll, but this top tower has stayed alive for a very long time. Oh, we'll see if they can claim it now. Ember has DD though, if they want to try to defend this one. Yeah, he's just trying to find the ankle to go in. Monkey King moving in as well, he's still level 5, so no Wukong command, but he's just gonna move from tree to tree, scout it out for his teammates, and uh, find some perfect ankle for his teammate to go in. Being the uh, living ward, Yona, Bat Rider teaming up with the Inkswell so trying to catch somebody. DB gonna get dragged in for the first time in this one, but I don't think the damage would be enough. DB might turn things around. He might jumping in. Fire Red Man to the high ground, slashing Yona down, killing three for Asura, getting tips as well. Oh my goodness, Matthew gonna fall. I oh, top lane, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they kill Escort as well, and Matthew dies. So it's just it's a disaster. Yeah, I, I, I just feeling like IAP is falling apart, falling Dyer's into pieces at the moment. 
Yeah. They're trying to force these ganks too much. Like, the Batrider at some point, I don't know why he kept chasing there. One TP rotation from an Ember meant that he couldn't lasso the PA away. He got Celasso off, but Ember's able to keep the Batrider in place, and then PA, like, you're not going to kill her during that lasso. Azura's even coming in to try to steal some Ancients. Like, his Ember game is just in a perfect place right now. Perfect Getting timing. every... Oh, DB slashing Kimo out in Mega Q yeah. already. Five kill for the PA. It's the situations you want the Whoa. least to happen for Team IAP and IAP supporters. You said tw I thought you were like 14 minutes was like going to be an early time for PA. She's Battle Fury now. 12 and a half what? minutes in, it's coming out uh, on career. Really? This is one of the fastest PA Battle Furies I've seen because this hero doesn't get 12 minute Battle Furies. No you're getting way. Getting the Blightstone. Like the AM gets a 12 minute battle for you because you're not getting treads or anything. This is insane farm for DB. Radiance bottom tower oh my is god. Under attack. Yeah. All the good news in the world against Team IAP. I mean, this requires a lot of experience and mental strength just to stay alive in this series. Still got a chance though. They just have to to make it right. Radiance every every single AB decision making, they just have to make it right. Here we go, Varys. DB. Yeah, DB doesn't want to go in. I think he's like, I, you know, I got this Battle Fury, but I got to play far away. They get the freezing field, though. Oh, that means he can go in. Yes. Fall for the Bat Rider. Ooh. The tips keep coming out. They're tipping Bat Rider. They're tipping Beastmaster. They know this Bat and Beast are playing pretty poorly so far. Escod with three deaths. Yona now with two. Okay. This has been a... Rough start. Uh, do you think that tip is actually a fair? Those um, tips. I <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Um, when you tip opponents who are making bad mistakes in like a must-win game three, it's oh. you know it's because they their pressure's on them. Ember gets maybe gone on here. He's going to die. Nice play from IAP. They needed to get these kills to get back in the game. Lim buy some time with mister but we'll go down yeah they just tried to go a bit too deep onto the radiant side of the map there yeah maybe you can swing the graph that that's what they need come on man if a i a p if i were them i'm just gonna wish for more mistake like that but right now they are about to take the mid tier one tower down which is another good news it's quite important tower just to get into dry and see AG might looking fallen. for a Radiant's counter. Dumping in. Spear some mass back into the frozen. Uh, easy oh. kill against Matthew. My people died for nothing. Yep. What's the opposite of registration? Got him trying to TP out. Yeah, Scott in his jungle has to be a little bit careful. Gets the roar out onto Monkey, but he's now being put in the arena. Right after the roar, he was locked down in. And fires Rip Dancing in. Ember's gonna finish him off. Asura got the X Guard. Yep. Yona's trying to chase down DB, but this Batrun is make, trying to make a lot of plays by himself, which just isn't really working out. When he plays with his team, like we saw around the Ancients, things can work out okay. But this time around, he's just like running at people by himself. He doesn't have that solo kill potential because he is so far behind and had such a bad lane. Or maybe that is a tactic to throw his body in just to make space for Marv to farm in a golden triangle right now with a lot of stats. That's a big stack Aww. clear. Meta seem to be the only hope of Team IAP right now in the game. She's still doing pretty okay, Radiant even though not scanning. a decent farm in the first 10 minutes of the game. But um, she sees her dates and uh, farming safe. Meanwhile, the rest of Team IAP just trying to, to force AG away from the uh, farming spot of Medusa. Radiant's yeah, they're playing super aggressive. Attack. And here we go. Yona. Oh, misses the Searing Chains. I think they're going to have to back off. Still. But they've rotated in DB now. The PA ready to join some fights, perhaps. Has a Mithril Hammer now to work on. Either a Deso or... It has a full Deso, just kidding. Not a Mithril Hammer. Yeah. This, this is PA becoming hurts. a full Protect 1 strategy. This is look a lot like mid trust like five or six years ago. Yep. Dyer's top tower is well, under soon, attack. This, it's going to be one Protect 4 with how fun <laughs> yes. this PA is. She's, oh, okay. she's going to be unkillable. Kimo being found and was locked in the searing chains and stuff. 
trying to find her way back to the top given tower, but it was blocked by Varys, our teammates, uh, sending in the snow. And Varys falls with bad mob. Okay, they get the kill bit by bit. Seems like the network swing back a little bit to Team IAP side. It might be too soon to count them off this game. Yeah, just the one kick only. It's not like some massively yeah. Medusa. You know, we talked so much about how well this PA is doing. Medusa's had an amazing game. Mar, just the one death where he got ganked. Um, he's been free farming the jungle, almost keeping up with the PA. So, you know, he's, he's a scary Medusa. Yeah. Next thing we know, Mesa already got the uh, mental star, ladies and gentlemen, and it's on the way to a lot of things. Monkey King Bar is one of them. Yep. See how things go from here. I think one of the big problems, though, is going to be how under-farmed and lackluster this Beastmaster is looking. Like, he's only got 6k net worth, and just so much of his strength is meant to be in that early to mid-game, pushing towers and controlling the map. Still has a lot of value later on, like with the Hawk to scout out, give vision, deal with the Monkey King, but it does feel like it may not be enough. My sprites are with us. Invisibility. Okay, all right, back to the game. What is going on around there? And it's unstoppable for DB. Well, yep. even though the game still look pretty okay for Team IAP, the big problem is DB is becoming a monster way too soon. And he's yep. on the way to the to the BKB. He's just showing how serious he is for the game. He's not going for for some play play stuff like Azar Crafters and then just just go for BKB after. No, he just want to be safe, be sure. Now with that right at BKB. IAP, wanna fight. They're sending the in the CM first break first. The Aiming for the support. Uh, need to run away for the Crystal Maiden. That's not a good place to fight. And now being dragged in. Two of them. Oh my goodness. First one for is gonna be Varys. And also, Mars. Wall me. Double Q for Yona. Oh, oh. My goodness. Yep. Nice job by the Batrider and Grim getting the yes. double lasso off. Yes. Yeah. Who needs Aghanim Scepter? Yeah. Uh, they they weren't ready for the bat at BKB. I think Mars, you know, he came back again to try spear the Batrider back, but he just nice job by Batrider to BKB so he doesn't get hit by the spear, and then he's able to punish the Mars. So it's kind of the surprise factor of that BKB. They maybe had an idea it was coming in, and they probably could have clicked the Batrider, but if he doesn't BKB there, you know, Mars is fine. Oh. Imagine if they... The guy got like the, the agony scepter combined with the soul bind, and he gonna pull like ten guys in. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Still an even game here, as he will get BKB soon, and both teams will have to be worried about Roshan potentially. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Alright, uh, 7 to 14 game score. Both sides just need to farm. Even Army Genesis is not feeling safe 100%. They still need some yeah. certain levels and items, some neutral items as well. Uh, so I think they are quite comfortable to just let the game um, sit in for a while. Yeah, I mean. They want Medusa to get at least one, maybe even two more items. The Scotty MKB seems to be like a pretty strong timing for her. Yep. Um, Scott itself is good, but the MKB means the PA just becomes such of a less of a threat. Oh, Arena of Blood, uh, Matthew being brought down, Wormy strike back on Escort. It's oh, two for Team yeah. IP. About to be three, be more, Yeah. There were so many times that the uh, parade of the IAP being scouted out in inside the Dire NC and die two or three people like that. I think, I mean, if they lose this series, I think this is one of the main problem. Yeah, absolutely. They're just giving up too many kind of unnecessary kills in certain parts of the map. Now they're going to be giving up Roshan for free. They are TPing in. I don't know if they get here in time, though. This PA does kill Roshan very quickly. Yeah, and they've also man. jumped Yona. Oh, Yona. Then oh, that's man. It. That's over, man. This Aegis. Yeah, you got to respect the possible wards on those high ground cliffs. Like, he had, they had this sentry on the ground, so they, you know, he's thinking, oh, we dewarded this. There's a sentry there, but they just only just put the ward now to go for Roshan. So there was never... 
he doesn't know he hasn't checked if there's a ward there or not and just gets jumped before anything else can happen oh my. that's a big loss really Radiance uh, middle tower is under attack all right db radiant structures are fortified level 19 once he touches level Radiance 25 oh my god attack. it's gonna be Radiance middle tower has fallen Still got a chance, you think? Oh, okay, they, maybe they still on the fight. Primal Raw first, and now who is going to die? It's lame. Arena of Blood being opened in order to just counter Yona Dragon Mouth Arena. Moss falls, and Mob still fights on. He turned a stone case, but it seems like no one is going to hit it. Now let's take a look. He has an eye on Scotty. This is going to be the first time that they fight toe to toe. Mob, oh, he won over. The uh, PA, but let's take a look at this one. Asura is killing all the backline. Kimo gonna be the next one. Mob is now shooting. One we one against the PA. Who gonna win? PA runs away. Oh my goodness! This is actually showing the sign that Team IAP still got chance. Oh, absolutely. This Medusa, if she is an MKB there, that fight can go all IAP's way. But no MKB just yet. But this Medusa. <laughs> Gonna struggle to have the damage maybe to deal with her. We'll see if they go for some kind of like MK uh halberds or other hype items as uh Medusa gets more and more farm. DB with the satanic, that can look very different because you can, you know, you can out sustain the Medusa. I think until you have satanic, the Medusa's the one out sustaining you. So we'll see how these next few fights go. It is army geniuses though. 6k gold lead now after that fight in the Roshan. So even though Medusa holds her own, it's still a fight that didn't quite go the way they wanted it. Matthew. Just have this just need more time for that mob. I think his teammates just need to give him a little space. But to do so, the warding game needs to be on point and they, they need to, to place on the perfect spot. They're doing such a great job, get rid of the ages, and now they are back at equal again, even though Army Genesis seems to be on a slightly ahead with 6k network more than. But um, We'll see. Well, I think I think the, the, the big problem of Team IAP right now is that backline got no space to just stand and cast. Because because Ember Dyer's Spirit doing yeah. such a great job. Asura walks all over, man. It's just like, oh god, these guys everywhere. Look at that. Gets away, doesn't get caught by the lasso. Nicely done. That was so and close. That, yeah, that's, that's so true. Like, these supports, it's really rough on them because Ember can always get to them and... Often your instinct as a support is like to run and be as far back as possible, but the further away the supports are from like the Medusa, it's actually they're in more danger. They need to stand as close to the Medusa as possible because that's where they're safe. They're, they're always going to get jumped. If there's nothing to jump them, then yeah, stay far back. But when there's an Ember in the game, you have to be near your Medusa. Okay, the flame lasso drag it back. If they can kill Mars without using Arena of Blood, that would be good. He died without using Arena of Blood. Wukong Command comes out. Kimo's in the front line. We'll definitely go down. But it, it, it's a true goal for Kimo, you know. He, he, it's, a, it's a trade. And every single trade for now for Team IAP is a good trade. Yeah. Yeah, not... Like the dream scenario, but getting a core here on the Mars is, yeah, something they're more than happy with. They're buying some time to keep farming up on the Medusa. All hope not lost just yet. They do need to, I think, keep making their moves soon. This Ember is about to get an Aghanim Scepter as well. So the item progression is getting scary for army geniuses. Even heroes like Monkey King in the four position, with Mage Slayer and halfway to a BKB can become a bit of a threat in the late game with Wukong's command. Hmm. Yona going for the Aghanim charge. Why is that? Two frame break and also apply the sticky napalm charge. Yeah, I think a lot of bat riders seem to be getting this early, just valuing having double flame break because it repositions enemy heroes. Mm -hmm. They seem to like it a lot. Kiting them? Uh, yeah, you can kite enemies and getting the free napalms is just pretty nice as well because often casts. Passing Napalm can be just, you don't have time to do it when you're running in from the lasso people. So yeah, mostly it's just the double flame break and being able to kind of reposition people. Hmm. Alright, they are diving in. It seems like they found Beastmaster Asura slashing one body at the bottom lane. He's gonna be out real fine. 
And ooh, they lost um, two guys in a row in a different location. And I think it's a good spot, a uh, good opportunity for a army genesis to just push top tier too. Yep. Alright, we'll see if they defend or not. It doesn't look like anybody will Radiant's be able to. Tower is under attack. All the calls of being army to is so Radiant fast. Attack. Even mods. Dyer are scanning. I mean, he got what he needs to just stay alive in this game. He has a BKB and on the way, on the way to the Heaven's Halberd. Once he has a Heaven Halberd, yeah, he might not be safe by, uh, from Medusa, but the other guy cannot kill him for sure. Yeah, I like the idea though. Get the BKBs attack. first for the team fights, and then after that, try and deal with Medusa. Halberd's one of the better items in the game mm. to address Medusa. You can kind of just Halberd her and then focus the other targets. You don't really want to focus Medusa first. That plays into the Medusa's strength, which is her tankiness. So kill the squishies, kill the supports, kill the Bat Rider and the Beastmaster. Deal with Medusa last. Medusa right now with the Monkey King bar. I of Scotty and Menta style is super strong. It all comes down to the itemizations of Team Army Genesis now. That how they're gonna deal with this hero, Medusa. And now they all whole team smoke. Both sides gonna be big, big fight. Are you guys ready? If you are ready, put your hands in the air before the fight happens. Mark moving in, being stopped first. Bad Rider died by the what stop the searing chains and a lot of the damage it comes out. But look at that Medusa, he's shooting like a goddamn AK-47. You can't stop the damage output from Medusa. Uh, they try so hard to stop Medusa, but look at that. But the rest of Team oh, IAP. I just melted in all the hell fire of Ember Spirit and also Arena of Fire. I didn't see that. Oh man, the, the team fight recap really tells the whole story. Medusa, 6,000 damage. Rest of the team, 100 damage from Ench, 80 damage from Grimstroke, 0 damage from Batrider. Batrider just having the vision there for the Dire team meant they could jump with the Blink Spear on Bat. He didn't get a spell off. Couldn't get his BKB off. The Bat Rider can't afford to be the one getting jumped there. And that's always the risk when you run up the enemy high ground where they're going to have these cliff wards. You, you watch the Division 1 teams, they'll never run into these cliffs. Or they'll have a hero in front who can pop the smoke and then back off. You can't afford to have your heroes get revealed and fight under these enemy wards. Oof. My goodness. 11 to 30 games for IAP trying so hard to stay alive in the league. Yep. It's looking rough. Yeah, looking just very great job in that fight also. Ignoring Medusa, just deal with Medusa last, focus the everyone else first and Rochan is back in three seconds time. Will they scout it out? Varus is gonna be in there. Is it gonna respawn? Yes, there we go. Okay, he stuck around. I mean, when we see the first two picks of Team IAP, we thought, oh, this is going to be a super fast game, bro. You started out with the uh, Beastmaster and all to Enchantress. Ten minutes, all tier one's gone, definitely for Team Army Genesis, but it's exactly opposite. They want to steal this Roshan. They've got a Hawk giving them vision. They can. Jumping in on the higher ground on the BKB and setting up Arena. Oh, Medusa is still doing a pretty decent damage as usual, but hey, using the armor to block, though. Warmy. Was stunned. I used to be a Spartan warrior. Now I become a stoner in front of the stone gates. Being chased down by the Wukong command. Mar tried to throw it back to the higher ground. They're just gonna charge in. They need to be careful as well. But Wormy seems to have all the damage for his teammate. He was there. He was so brave until he got shot down by the illusions of Medusa. Asura is got like nice time to clear all the back line. And Asura turns to go in. Turn the flame guard. Man, they take turns going in fighting with this Medusa. Medusa is king. And now he is shooting everyone in front of the tier 4. He's staying alive, but now running out of mana. He knows that his time is out. Uh, that he is out for 90 seconds. EB just playing. The towers can't reach when you're behind the throne. <laughs> He's like, if I go close enough to their fountain, the towers won't hit me. He finally comes back to maybe Radiant's take down this tier three. Backdoor protection is there though. What a crazy fight. Yeah. Again, if you take a look at the uh, fight recap, 
It's 10,000 oh, damage oh. for Medusa. And the rest are just and 190. Can 100 sheesh. damage. Oh, man. I yeah, mean, exactly. That's nothing. They need more from the rest of the team. Yeah. I mean, it would be much better if they have one more core. The, uh, the core that scaled good in late game, I mean. Yeah. Oh. PA with an Aegis in the front lines, the Lincoln, so she can't easily get lassoed. It's just so hard to deal with. I love the way that the take turns by the <laughs> Medusa. They send in, they send in Mars first, and then okay, you die, my turn. And then they send in the Emperor's Sprint, die, and then send in the PA. Okay. Here we go. We're now level 25. Looks like they're going DB. Michelle's going to BKB, but still being uh -oh. dragged into the fountain. Is, is that going to reach the fountain? No! What's so? Nope. Lack the distance. Oh, bring him back, back. But he just dumped away and slashing people and kill at the same time. Everyone on Team IAP being blocked at the fountain right now. DB trying so hard to stay alive on this one. That, that is his first life. He's going to be back, and his teammate is ready to jump in to help save him. But, well, is that true? DB sli uh, being slid by his teammates away from the danger. Being bounced back by the frame rate once again. Turn on the Wukong of mine in order to zone out of Team IAP. Okay, oh, smack no. it down and kill the Batman. Yona. I'm sure they would tip Yona, but they're probably out of tips with the number of times they've tipped him and Escort. He just blinked in and gave PA a full safe panic lifesteal with that crit. Oh, he thought he could finish off DB. He was so low and didn't have a BKB up, but... He just blinked Radiant's into his own death. Ooh. My goodness. Yeah. That Roshan side just knocked. They had the vision to try and steal the Aegis. Yona blinked Radiant's in. He took the shard instead of the Aegis. He also blinked in a Radiant's tiny bit too early. Roshan was still alive. So if they'd managed to get the Aegis away from DB, maybe there would have been a better chance Radiant's for this last fight. But... It didn't go the way Batrider wanted, and yeah, this is a game that Yona is going to want to forget. He has not played well on this Batrider. Man, this is so painful to watch. They are so close. They are at the edge of the elimination of this league. Arena of Blood is probably going to be the last arena that they ever experienced in the DPC. They try and fall it back to the Fountain to just gain some HP and go back to fight. That would be no easy TT coming out from the team for sure. They are going to fight until the last bit. With their honor, Yona forcing everyone away. And Army Genesis is about to take down the second set of racks. Mob standing in front. Oh, he's using on. his full work. Yeah. He doesn't care about the right clicks. Forcing everyone out. Yeah, Mark uh, turn on the illusion, but he running out of the mana real fast because of all the damage from Team Army Genesis. Even the uh, Monkey King support turned himself to be a core player right now. Bomi is out. You wanna finish him off with the uh, flaming lasso? So everyone of Team Army Genesis is fall back and doing objective instead. Setting in some frame break, and uh, they are not going to rush. I think they are gonna go back, chill a little bit, get another edges, and come back and secure the series yeah there's no rush for them and without the Mar Morris is a lot of their damage block against this Medusa a lot of their, the way they've dealt with this Medusa comes from her, come from him in. so mm. play it safe if they want to wait for that next Roshan they can it's still quite a ways away but Imbus there's also some items to be picked now up they get a paladin do. sword now and uh yeah patience for army geniuses knowing what's at stake here they do <laughs> not want to slip up when they're so far ahead Man, <laughs> Radiant are scanning. What is what is the highest um, net worth I hate that you ever seen a guy come back? Uh, maybe like OG at TI against LGD. They had like a thirty or forty, at least thirty k. They had zero. They had zero percent win probability. I remember on the Dota yeah. Plus. Oh my god. But I've definitely seen 30k come back. Yeah, 30k, okay. I don't know about more. I think there was one game where it was like a 50k gold lead that the team lost. Yeah. Um, 50k? In like online tournament. Yeah. That's cray. All right, we'll see. Even though it was, um, it was a tiny, slim chance to come back in this game, but 0.1% is still better by 0 by 0, right? Eh? 
Yeah, no, I just looked at the win probability. <laughs> oh wait, that was a mistake. Let, let me let me take a look as well. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys, it's lying. Don't it's... listen to Gabe. Yes, there's still a chance. <laughs> yeah, it's too brutal. Oh. Still got ten. Yeah. Let's go, AD. Uh, IAP. Let's see how they're gonna set up the defense. I think the, the yeah. layers of defense is very important at this stage of the game. So, who are they gonna send into the front line? How are they gonna start the fight? Who are they gonna initiate on? It's very important. Jonathan BKB, but that is a very good BKB pull by DB. Lock everyone down, down the arena of blood. A very good elite arena. Everyone is in there. This is just like a town hall for everyone. And Asura is clearing all the back line, forcing everyone going back to the base. No buyback for most of them. Wukong Command, GG has been called. Team, oh. Army Genesis survive for another day, but this is not the end. Uh, I mean, not the safe spot for them. They just have to, to just pray. Yeah, they could still be in like some tiebreakers, I think. So th this was their last series. They had two wins and five losses. They need IAP's help now. The team they just beat, they need their help. They need IAP to beat 496. Otherwise, if 496 win, it'll be tie between 496 and army geniuses with both teams having two wins so for army geniuses at minimum they're guaranteed type tiebreakers so they'll either be in tiebreakers for relegation or they'll be safe one of those two things will happen oh all right what a situation we are in right now and congratulations that survive on this series for army genesis for iap well, the fact that the team, they, they are just farming out, and, but however, they got some potentials, man. We, they, they have put up some good fight for us, especially for the first game. We have seen how powerful they are in that one. And so, so hopefully, even though they are out of the league, but if they maintain the base performance and you know, keep on practicing, they yeah. will definitely come back from the open qualifiers for the next season for sure. Yeah, and they were the team that for this season they came through those qualifiers. They played both open qualifiers, didn't make it by winning them, but because of there was an extra slot after um, I think oh. it was Omega Esports who got who got uh, disqualified, so they took the eighth, the final slot. They were like the third team to come through the qualifiers. Um, so you know, a team we'll probably see more of. Um, Farmy geniuses, excited to see them stick around. DB especially his PA, he was twenty kills, zero deaths, and thirteen assists. That was like the best PA performance we've seen for the entire season. So fantastic performance from him. Yeah, congratulations. And that is it, guys, for the first match of the day. We still have one more match going on, which is going to be the fight for the promotion to the Division 1. Guys, stay tuned. The next match will come real soon. There will be no interview. We are sorry about that because we are already uh, running behind the schedule. So stay tuned. The next match is going to come real quick.